I hope everybody can hear me. It looks like the mic is still working, I think. Uh, I think the. Okay, I don't think this works. Uh, Twitch Studio Beta updated their thing, and I can't see if my mic is working anymore from. Oh gosh! From the bottom of the screen, it's just kind of dumb because it's just there's just a blank, blank thing here that doesn't. It ain't doing much. It ain't really helping you, boy. My legs are freezing right now. You probably have long pants on. But uh, it's it's your boy, guys. J Base Phoenix here. Um. We're going to get back to some more writing today. So I created a new character, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I got up at like... Forty-something. Three-forty-three. Exactly. And I, it's only been five hours that I've been up, not even five hours yet, but I'm really tired. Like that sometimes, you know. Um, let me get rid of this. The amount of characters I have right now. Oh, you get, you can't see it. That's a bit of a humble brag there. No, it's a big brag. I got a lot of people. Well, there's a lot of people, and there's some that are in the new document that haven't been added to this one, because I don't want to have to change them later. Um, so, yeah, we don't need that option, actually. Uh, um, let me get to describing who this new character that I added to this team that hasn't even been established in the book yet. He's going to be a little bit down the line. As far as joining the our disturbed delinquents, 
so he's right after Suck Man here. Uh, it's, we got Element Man, right? He's 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 the Element guy. You can control the elements like a certain popular fictional cartoon character. Um, you can only generate uh three of them. You can only generate ice. You can only generate fire, and he can only generate lightning. But he can also manipulate all of those as well. Um, he can manipulate earth. You can't create. I mean, let's start with smoke. You, he can manipulate air. You can't create air. I mean, I guess that'd be an interesting superpower, but he he can manipulate the air. Um, with that, he can also manipulate smoke. You know, any sort of like exhaust or anything like that, he can manipulate. We got earth manipulation, which not only entails like rocks and stuff. But that also entails crystals, magma, metal, glass, sand, anything that's found in the earth. So, you can do that, and then there's fire, generation, water, and along with that, vapor, um, so like evaporated water, you can also control. Um, and then the rest are dimension. Um, he has no weapons. His name is Solus, or Solus. I like to call him Solus, because Solus is another... You can pronounce it either or, but solace is another word that means, I have the word for it, it's like console or something, comfort or consolation in a time of distress or sadness. So, it's kind of interesting, because I pronounce his name solace, even though in Latin it's solis, um, he would die for his teammates, which is like, Kind of his whole thing, like he's pretty much, and I mentioned this in a note here, he's pretty much a jerk to everybody else that isn't their teammates or like a friend to his teammates, not making him like the nicest character ever. He's not meant to be the nicest, most pure character ever. Everybody has flaws, so he dies for his teammates, treats everyone else, like I said, not including friends or family uh, of his teammates pretty badly, especially their enemies. So he is an all out lunatic when it comes to their enemies. Um, I got his name, uh, it means son in Latin, um, but it's pronounced, I pronounce it Solus. You can also pronounce it Solus, because even when I look at it, it's, it looks like Solus. Um, so I, I'm not mad at whoever pronounces it, uh, either way. Like, it's a made-up name, so there really shouldn't be a proper way to pronounce it. Like, it's not an English word, so it doesn't matter. Uh, his alignment is chaotic neutral. He's male, and he is not of the stellar race, he's of the elemental race, um, which is also what Kokaida, half of what Kokaida is, the ice uh, villain that throws her hard sweat and then threaten them with their own, kill them with their own sweat. Still insane in my mind. Um, chaotic neutral, much like the other one on the team that's another chaotic neutral, Zashi, the Samurai, laser sword, one. But she is uh, a stellar. Like I said, he's an elemental. One of the strongest elementals, mind you, because he can control all of the elements. So everything, every element that an, what, a singular elemental can control from the planet Tavara. Is it Tavara or Tarava? I think it's Tavara. I forget. But the, uh, any element that any single one of them can control. So, like, Fulgur, for example, is an elemental on that planet as well, and she can control lightning. She can control lightning as well, but there are other elementals on the planet that might not be able to control lightning. They can control earth and water or something. And, um, you know, he can do all of them. Like I said, like a certain fictional cartoon character. Um, I have his design. I was going to draw him earlier, but I didn't give myself enough time before my family got here today um but i'll, I'll probably draw him soon because i really like the idea of his design he's kind of like uh so we have zero exabyte dashi clad grace omnispect and then the lad here not clad the lad not clad the lad this is solace the mollusk he's an elemental like I said, he's 16. I think I wanted to make him 17, but he's, I think, 
No, I kind of like him being 16. Seeing Zashi, I think, will probably have romantic tension. And uh, I was going to say he, she and Ciro would, but I kind of like the idea of both chaotic neutrals having uh, romantic tension. Um, oh, no, I made her 16. So who's 17? Clad? Is Clad the lad? Clad the lad is 17, I believe. Yeah, he's the oldest. Okay. Um, Zashi's older than uh, so, uh, Solace by like a few months. Uh, average male height, 5'10", 157 pounds. He has a medium, very medium frame build. He's not like ripped or anything like Clad the, the, clad the absolute unit lad. Um, his eyes are red, hair black, personality cynical, cocky, witty, and then we have the outlier. You're compassionate. Um, like I said, he's willing to die for his teammates and all of that. Um, these are his powers we already went through. Um, weakness, though, uh, weaknesses, I should say. Essentially, it's just he, he's pretty much human, other than the fact that he can control elements. So, really anything that can kill a human can kill him. Um, he's a little more durable, I'd say, because, you know, why not alien physiology? Um, so if he's stabbed, like, he's dead, like, he's stabbed in a vital spot, he's pretty much dead, bullets will also kill him, so, you know, but, you know, he's got fighting abilities and all of that, so he can, he can, he can, he can duke it out with somebody, uh, weapons, armor, enhancements, he has none of those, uh, so here's his physical description, he's fit, like I said, that's the normal go-to for whatever I have, like, somebody that's just together like they're not in bad shape they're not skinny they're not overweight they're not even like average they're just in shape um no shirt this jacket with oh i never figured out what symbol i want on the back so he has so we'll figure that out in a second let's finish through the description his symbol um he has black pants with puff at the bottom so think of like aladdin's puffy pants when he was like a street rat um Red stripes down the side, black foot wraps, no shoes. So oh, you're probably wondering, uh, how does he walk around the planet with uh, probably glass everywhere and there's metal shards and stuff like that? Like it's not a it's not a fun planet to visit. Like you wouldn't go on your honeymoon in a spaceship and be like, hey babe, what do you think about going to disturb? Oh, you mean that planet that's full of criminals and death everywhere? You no. Know, uh, I was, I'm beginning to think why I ever even freaking married you in the first place. He's like, oh, man, that's harsh. <laughs> but that planet, though, um, you're probably wondering, I don't know where I was going with that. You're probably wondering why he has uh, why he has no shoes and how he gets around on a planet that can probably cut his feet at any point and give him STDs or something through his feet. Um but I think a cool thing I added about him is he walks on air, like literally speaking. Because he can manipulate air, he never has to put his feet to the ground if he doesn't want to. Um, sure, his feet are probably dirty, which is a little weird. But I don't have any barefoot characters other than people that can fly and are also aliens, I think. I think. But, um, you know, the wraps also kind of protect him. They're not, they don't cover his feet entirely, but I'm not, I don't know, but, um, he walks on air, so he can, it's easy, it's, it's nothing for him to concentrate, it doesn't take any, any sort of concentration away for him to just walk on the air instead of walking on the, like, making contact with the ground, and it's not that noticeable, actually, like, unless he starts going like this, like, this is the ground here, and he's just walking just over it with a, a pocket of air beneath his feet, and then he just starts going like this, like, that's, that's noticeable. But um, normally he just keeps a layer of air between uh, his feet and the ground, so that's, that's cool. Um, accessories, rubber wristband on right wrist, because accessories are cool. Um, and then, like I said, complete arm sleeve tattoos with dragons, because dragons are also cool. This guy is a pretty cool, pretty cool guy. Uh, what's up, the homie guys? Just letting you know I'm in the room. Appreciate you letting me know you're in the room. Uh, lurkers here are always appreciated as well. Um, so I uh, hope you hope you hope you enjoying. You're probably not watching. You might just have this on, but hope you're having having a good night day thing. 
Uh, no relatives, uh, affiliation, disturbed delinquents, base of operations. Still don't have one yet. I got to figure out how the hell Sarah is going to get out of his basement, hole in the wall, apartment thing. Uh, said, alignment, cognitive show, marital status, single. I don't have many characters that are like married, actually. Like most of my characters are single. Oh, God. Is that a reflection of me? His occupation, uh, he was a prisoner before he got to this planet. Like, so his introduction to the story is him. He's like flown in by the Galactic Guard for some reason. I haven't figured out the reason, but um, they come in and like, yo, got a prisoner for you, whoever they're talking to. I don't know why they'd be handing off a prisoner to anybody, but, um, and then he becomes a delinquent, like in probably in that same chapter he's introduced. Um, so yeah, this is the new this is the new boy. Um, I want to think of a really cool symbol to give him. I don't want yin and yang. That's already kind of um, that's shackles thing. Um, what's he about? Maybe a sun symbol. No, that's also, that's kind of Lux's thing. Lux has the sun on his chest, and then the the moon. Yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Where? Where's Lux? Out here. See, that's kind of Lux's symbol. So I don't, I don't want him to have like the sun on his back of his vest or anything. Um. What else can he have? Does he have a, a star? You know when stars twinkle in the sky, like you see that that shape that goes up like this and then out like this, it's like that, and then that, and then it curves down. Maybe that could be the symbol. So let's put star symbol on his back. Um, and I'll probably have it drawn out. I'll draw it out at some point. But that's that's solace, guys. I always got to look at the pronunciation here because I want to say solis or solace, but it's solace, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna get used to saying solace real soon. But um, that's the new boy in a nutshell. Um, I think we should go back to planning out the next uh few chapters. Is this story here? Um, do we need this open anymore? How does Sarah meet Zashi? Um, Blood Trail, that's kind of violent. It's going to be violent anyway. Not too, too violent, but it's trying to make it as teen friendly as possible. Uh, yes, this is being part of the team. They don't see you these visits very frequently. I already knew that. Let's just snop this up there. So we'll probably we might put this in things to add characters. Uh, let's add uh, Solace up here. I think Quantum of Solace. That's, that's a James Bond film, I think. Right, right. How? Let me just actually just copy this the same font. Okay, cool. So we can close this out. I don't want to keep too many tabs open. Because when I keep too many tabs open, it's a document. It's like, hey, bro, we can't be doing all this work for you right now. Like, we got, we got kids to feed. The documents don't have kids to feed. I'm, I'm lying and I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm lying. I, I shouldn't have lied to you guys. I'm ashamed. Um. Okay, so we probably don't need new new document open either. I think the next step is just figuring out where the story goes from here. Actually, like I'm stalling. I feel like I'm stalling. 
We're stalling. We're probably stalling. All right. I'm gonna just. I just wanna. I'm just gonna. We're gonna. Sit. We're gonna go back up here. Uh yeah okay. All right we're 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 cool. Uh I think we should just move on now. So we're writing on this one. We we'll move this here. Move that there. Um, that's the document itself. Do I need anything else open? Well, let's see. So let me refresh myself on where we were in chapter two. Cyril goes out with Exabai. He was fighting Clutter, right? Next, he defends himself. So, I don't know what I said there. Successfully defends himself against them and takes down Clutter. Okay, what happens with Clutter? What happens? Clutter. Oh god, I keep spelling his name wrong. Um Does he get arrested? Then maybe some crooked galactic guard guards people are like, yeah, he's not gonna actually go to jail since he's connected or something. I don't know. I kinda want him to be connected to Omni Spec. So yeah. Clutter is arrested. So, I just came up with this. Since Omnispect, you know, his whole thing is having a hand in everybody's pockets in the city, you should have at least, definitely one, but at least a few Galactic Guard members that aren't, um, that aren't clean, you know? Like, he's paying a few Galactic Guard members to be like, hey, I know you're on the force, but I'm going to offer you, like, three times whatever your stupid little little alien space force is, is offering you. Um, you. You work for me undercover. You're undercover for me in the police. Like, you ain't undercover for the police coming after me. Um, the money I'm giving you, take care of your whole family and all of that, I got you. But you work for me. You don't work for the police. So whenever you arrest somebody and then you know and you know for a fact they're under me, you bring them to me. You don't go to you don't go to bring them to jail. So um, and of course the, the Galactic Guard Space Police that are partners would have to be together on this. So um, so let's say the two cops let's let's say two Galactic Guard members could show up to coalesce. coalesce. I was gonna say collect, and then I was also gonna say arrest. Collect clutter, and they bring them to Omnispec because I need Omnispec to weave in and out of the story as much as possible until the final battle, where uh, there's probably gonna be a few fights where the the, the delinquents would delinquents just straight up lose. Like, okay, clutter is arrested, so I need I might be able to take a galactic guard member that I already have. So let me open the... Oh, look, we're opening this document again. That's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy. Um, I might be able to take a galactic guard member that already exists uh, to work for... Um, to work for Omnispec here. Who do we have? Here's a galactic guard here. The special guard, like I said, is like this space military. Um, I tried to keep ranks sort of accurate to what Earth Earth's ranks are. Oh, um, so we got. Hmm, I think on the special guard, these are the only four named characters I have, which I need to increase the number on that. But that's not the main concern. We got to go to the black guard here. Uh, Chief Police W. We got Police Captain Chief President, which I know is a little. Space Force, Space Force indeed, C40. I'm kidding, that's not it. Uh, welcome to the stream, C4. C4. God, C4. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad to see you. Space Force indeed. Um, so we're talking about having. So we got the villain, right? The villain is supposedly in everybody's pockets. He controls all the CEOs of the city. He's kind of a mystery man, right? So 
So he has to, and I thought of this on stream just now, you could ask anybody who was probably lurking or watching. Um, you got to think he has to like be in the pockets of some of the space police, right? To some of the space force, you know? So I either need to create a couple new characters that work for him, or I was looking through to see if any of my uh, current uh, space police people, Black Guard people are viable, but I don't think they are. So Chief President, he's like, first of all, that's his actual name. That's not his title. Neither one of those are his title. His name is Chief President. And that's all his first name. He doesn't even have a last name. His name it's like Madonna. Yeah, Chief President, you got Madonna. Or Zendaya, I guess. Well, her last name is Coleman. Anyway, um, then you got police lieutenants. Uh, um, he's kind of like a bit of a, a loose edge, bit of a rough edge, loose, loose cannon kind of guy. A little bit, just a little bit. Um, then we got Brig, who is, well, based on his name, he's a prison warden. Um, he is, he watches over a planet that was built to contain one person, uh, the one crazy chick by the name of Anjani. And she's a bit of an anomaly in this whole space thing because she used to be an angel. It's her name. Um, but she lost her wings and this whole prison planet was built. Don't forgive the quality of this picture. This is really like, this was like three years ago. Um, she uh she used to date um one of the main villains of the series uh Zael here, and they kind of just went crazy together, and she lost her wings and he was in prison and all of that. So this prison planet that big uh I have Brig, that Brig watches over is crazy, ain't it? Cause he got he got a like a jail cell and like that's not a that's not like a picture on his costume either. That's that's part of him. Like he has a giant hole in his chest. Um, if you have a hole in your chest, you might want to seek a doctor. But um, he watches over the planet that she's locked in, uh, and it's it's a whole like labyrinth that she has she'd have to get out of. Um, in the eighth book in the series, she actually escapes because you know if you have a whole prison planet for some like an entire planet for somebody, and they don't ever get out, what's the point in the planet? She's gonna get out. No, she's gonna get out at some point. Is that a great? It's, it's a it's a like a bar prison bar thing i i didn't use any sort of reference for that i was just like eh, what's that look like so i guess kind of like a great but it has a hole in his chest and his like heart and everything is there but it's not normal and like i said if you have a grate or cell or bars on your chest like and there's a hole in your chest like that uh i'd recommend going to a doctor unless you are an alien like him um, so I don't think he should be crooked at all. And plus, he plays a part in the eighth book in the series, uh, in the Descended series, not this series. Uh, now, Police Sergeant Maze, she is just a prodigy when it comes to uh, also kind of a rookie when it comes to the space policing thing. She's kind of along for the ride. Um, when we meet Am and Piano Wire, who I'll get to in a second, she's, uh, she's just new to the force, but she's already above this man's here, Piano Wire. Now, I know that's not your traditional name. Like I said, these are aliens. Um, but he uh, has two personalities. And the other one is always speaking in his head. So he has piano wire. That's the one he normally is. He's kind of a bit goofy. Do I have a picture of him? I might have an incomplete picture of him. He's a bit on the goofy side. Yes, I do. But on the goofy side, uh, you can see just by, he has eyebrows on his helmet. He's goofy. Um, and he also, you know, because of the name, he deals with wires and stuff, like, he can take people apart with those. Um, but then he has the other side, Razor Wire, which is, uh, well, more evil, but normally he's piano wire. But I don't think any of these people, which is what I was saying, uh, uh, should be in, like, should be... Should have Omnispect in their in their pockets, so we'll we'll leave these these four alone and um, we'll figure out some new ones. I guess we're gonna have to create some new some new people. Uh, and all of the Galactic Guard, the Space Police, and the um, Special Guard, the the Space Military, 
is uh they're all like accepting of all the the alien races so um literally any of these races could be the uh the ones that are in um that have omnispec in their pockets so in order for that to in order for that to develop and i also want all of the characters in the series to be really developed um but I don't want just anybody to just be straight up like mustache twirling evil. Like they all have reasons as to what they do, making them human, even though they're all alien. Um, so they all have backstories and stuff, stuff that might not be explained like directly in the in the book, like like kind of how the first book, the first Ascended book went. But um, that was really for the main characters. Like I don't want to cut away from the story of Mister Blinkwitz explain the backstory of a cop you might not give a crap about um but there could just be like I, i'll have the backstory in my head or written down but there could just be like a mention of like oh his wife's really sick and his kid uh is in jail or something he had to arrest his own kid or something like that really creative but um yeah so we're gonna create i, I want to say two you know uh, cops can only buddy up, so or partner up, I guess is the proper term. Arrested by two um, lactic, uh, two corrupt. I think that's the proper term to explain it. Dirty cop, two corrupt galactic guard. Two galactic guards uh, that. Uh, take clutter directly to Omnispec instead of space jail. Um, so we're gonna have to think of the race of these two cops and the um, I guess motivations for each. We don't have to do the motivations on stream, but if I think of something quick, like I did with the his wife's in the hospital. He had to rest with own. He had to rest his own son. Maybe that could be two separate things. You know, I don't know. Um, okay, down here. Is that, that's the page break here. Yeah, okay, we'll put it here. That's one, and this is two. So for now, in the it so we just put corrupt. Galactic Guard 1, Corrupt Galactic Guard 2. Of course, they'll have names and personalities and all of that. Um, maybe one should be male, one should be female. I think the first one female with this uh, power. Should be male. Um, in this alien race. So I put ethnicity, race, type. So ethnicity is for anybody from Earth, any human. Ethnicity meaning like their nationality. I think there's, I think there is a difference. Um, so African American would be, even if they're a superhero on the on the Earth, their their ethnicity would be African American, for example. I wonder where I got that from. That's crazy nationality. That's not common at all. Um, there's race as far as alien race goes. Not not race as far as human goes, because the human race is a race. I, I love that. Um, and then type for anybody that might not be an alien and might not be human. So type is, for example, uh, the angelic characters, angel. Type archangel, type angel, type archdemon, arch, uh, demon, all of that. Um, so alien race goes here. Names. Uh, I think they're real. Most of my alien characters don't have like uh, super names or anything like that. Do I have any that do have super names? Probably a few. Omnicide is one. His real name being Asizer, which also means murderer. Um, so I just use real name for most of my alien characters. Alignment, powers, weapons. Huh. I wonder if I should create a... Uh, Yo, Geeky, how's it going? Glad you could stop by, my guy. Um, 
C4. So angels slash demons are actually aliens with angel demon physiology. Correct, C4. Correct. Well, yeah, really speaking. Yeah, angels are kind of just aliens from a different, like, they're not from this dimension. Angels have their own, so I have two separate dimensions for this. We have the heaven dimension where the angels and arch archangels come from. And then we have the uh, hell dimension where the demons and arch demons come from. Um, and then there's other dimensions that also kind of deal with them. Like I have a limbo dimension where one of the many wars of this of the Descended series take place. Um, I think we should have Galactic Guard issued weapons. Like um, laser plasma pistol. What does Om have? Let me look at that. Superpowers. Let's just. I have a lot of Om. Oh, that God. That's not gonna help me. Like that. Yeah, that's Om. Um, okay, here we go. Um. So let's add a. Uh, I don't know what to call these. Like, it's kind of like a physiology thing where I can always, for example, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's go to the angels. So I will have something like, oh, God, they're so far down. Here. So I'll have something like uh, Archangel Physiology where it's normally all the same thing. So God likes strength, God likes speed, and I'll just copy these over. Um, I don't know why I'm pointing at my screen. You can't see what I'm pointing at. That's okay. Um, I don't want to also highlight because I don't want to lose where um was. Um, so if you just follow this this really tiny cursor here, we have um, so Archangel Physiology for most of them will normally be the same unless they're a bit higher tier in the Archangel department. Like Michael, for example, is he's a little he's a little bit higher than his brothers and sisters. Um, or Grim, who is the angel of death. He's a lot higher than all of them. Even Michael is, you know, death. Um, where we got the word? Where are we? Okay, so we're going to have Galactic. We're going to add a new bracket, I guess, because that's what I used to. Galactic Guard issued. It's not just weapons because you have they have vests and stuff uh black the guard issued a tire maybe and then we'll just use this for all the galactic guard members um and i should also do that for the special guard they're a bit different like i said the space military as opposed to the space police uh galactic guard issued a tire and then we'll just copy that over here for when we're Rick doesn't have it because, like I said, he's a warden. So he's, uh. He ain't one of them, really. He really doesn't feel like he needs. Like, he's pretty strong on his own. Like, he has super strength, all, all of this stuff here, the normal stuff. Then he has enhanced vision, so all of these. So he can see through the. It helps him. He was chosen because he can see through the planet, essentially, and see that Anjani's, like, the prisoner is not trying to escape or anything, which. She's constantly trying to do, but she's in chains. So. And then concussion beams, uh, which really helps knock out, literally knock out prisoners that try to escape. So, um, so I don't think we need anything for him. So Galactic Guard issued a tire. So that'll be for the strong, super powered ones. For like, um, for example, here he has also has concussive stuff. Um, they don't really need to use their stuff, but for somebody like Maze, who's pretty normal aside from her genius level, it's oh no, she has gun gloves. I forgot. But that's not like guard issued. I want to say she made her made those herself because she's a genius. You know how geniuses do it inventing things. Uh, Galactic guard issued a tire, uh, plasma pistol. Uh. What should the vest be made of? I don't want to say Kevlar because that's man made. But I also don't want it to be like one of the metal things. Let's say carbon carbon alloy vest. 
Makes sense. Carbon infused vest. Something that just sounds scientifically correct. Carbon alloy makes it sound like a metal. Carbon alloy infused vest. Um, what else? They don't have batons or anything. Let me take a look at what I gave um in the thing. I don't think I gave him anything on his belt. He got like a little name tag here, if you can see that, and uh, a little badge on his belt. That's the vest there. Uh, you can choose whether to wear like sleeves over it or something, but he chooses not to. Um, but no, I don't think I put anything in his. No, that's just a line. I don't think I put anything in his uh his thing. So they got the vest, they got a pistol, what else do they need? Badge, I guess. Galactic. Oh, I spelled that right for once. Badge. I think that's pretty standard. Oh, puffs. Um they'd be like plasma infused cuffs. That's kind of what Anjani is in. Like this is it's glowing. But it also has metal, so like plasma, plasma infused cups. Maybe it should be magic. No. All right, so we'll just copy this Galactic Guard issued. I'm probably gonna change the name of that because first of all, it's a mouthful. Second, it doesn't. No, it's and no, it's, it's just because it's a mouthful, and I'm not sure a tire is the right word for it. That's, that was the other thing I was gonna say. But um, oh god, we went off on a tangent. Oh, that's what I that's why I was doing it for for the for these two new cop characters that I want to develop here on stream because I don't know where the story is going and I'm kind of um stalling. I know how I want some of the main characters to be introduced, but um. Not exactly how just yet. So we gotta give these two races. Uh Varanians, they were killed off. Magravorans, they were killed off. Flara, they're an infectious parasite. Nebula Dragons, those are gods. Algeas, sees not really anything. Adeptol, those are shapeshifters. I don't want them to be shapeshifters because that will be first of all, one of Omnispec's close henchmen is a shapeshifter, so um Advanced Adaptal, no, those are reserved for the bartender. Semigonic, hell no, because those are essentially my homage to Kryptonians. They, they don't need to be in there. We don't need a semigonic cop. Uh, alien cyborgs, no, that's not actually a race. That's just something. I never came up with what Zistos was before he got infected by the Flara, so he needs a race. Jatarks, they were killed off. Exons. It's kind of like the go-to, kind of. Um, but I already, you already see I have a lot of people that are already Exxon. Uh, Piano Wire, his thing is unknown. Eddie Killigen, Maze is already one of those. I kind of want the... Oh, I need to rename. It wasn't... It's not Spix anymore. It's stellar. I want to rename... Uh, not rename. Branch out from... There, there's already a lot of... Uh, Addy Killigens already. Manipulation was one I changed that. Galactic Storm, he's pretty much an anomaly. Uh, I never gave a name to Xur or Yos. They're both pirates, these two. Uh, invaders, no. Radomni is invader backwards. Um, these are the, we get into the halflings here, hybrids. Ralia, I think I gave Ralia one. Yeah, Ralia, her percuser, yeah. Okay, so I can remove her from up here. Oh, maybe the assassins might be one. That may be interesting. Seed, no, they're kind of overpowered. Uh, Arcosius, no, don't look at that. That's a spoiler for the story. Don't, don't look at... Okay, elementals. We already have a few elementals. Hokkaido, who's half elemental. And then Solus, who's entirely elemental immortal that also might be interesting um let me write some of the interesting ones down what did i say uh i already forgot 
I think Percuser was one of them. Ele Immortal might be another. Percuser. Immortal. Um, Insight, no, they're strictly f for Nebulon, so is Colossal, so is Legionnaire. Uh, Happy, um, from the planet Smile, those, he, it'd be difficult to see a cop as one of those things. The Happies are, think of a smiley face or an evil smiling face, but a giant circle, and the head is floating above like a cloak, that's what the Happies are not very they don't invoke any sort of happiness let's just say uh gray that might be good i think gray would be actually pretty darn good uh from planet goval and that's one of the characters that's gray spade might be another spade spade headed people are aliens are kind of weird reconstructors that's not really uh deadhead we have two main deadheads in this story already I don't think I want a deadhead cop. Well, that's not where that should be writing. Okay, uh, Lily Go, that also might be one. I, I have a few, I want to have a few races, which I already do, where it's like easy to give characters, like non main characters, that type of race. Um, Lily Goes is one of them, for example, because it. Well, you can see here, Lilygo. Uh, it comes from Lolygo, which means squid in Latin, so they're squid-faced alien race from the planet Lilygo. The Nagi, those are like half-god things, so I kind of don't want that. I want one of them to be one race, one of them to be the other race. Um, uh, the squid boys change color, too. Oh, you mean like actual squids? That's, that's good. That might be something to add. I'll write that down. I like oct octopi and squid do. I didn't even think about that. Like actual squid physiology. I mean, squid do that. Does squid change. I feel like every animal in the anim animal kingdom probably does change color. Like they're really good at blending into their backgrounds. Like lion is the same color as like the Sahara. So that, and then snakes come in all sorts of colors. Um, I want to make one one of these races and the other a different race. So maybe Grain Spade are the way to go, but they're kind of more on the boring side. So I want to make, actually, I want to make the female Gray because we haven't seen a female Gray yet. Maybe a male Spade. Well, no, Sift is already a male Spade. Um, Deadhead, Lily Go, Lily Go are more on the criminal side of everything so I, I guess that would make sense it'd be interesting if like so since lily go are more or less criminals most of the time that whole race of squid faced mfs um be interesting to have one of them as a cop but he's really not a good guy so that might be interesting so let's let's do that let's do that yeah why not I want her to be gray. And I, like I said, I'm trying to be careful with the physiologies. All of these aliens have different physiologies, which grant them different abilities. So, for example, deadhead can siphon souls and then gain power from that soul. So, um, I don't want them. Some of these side characters to have too big of an advantage against the others. I guess. Um, so let's give him a bit of backstory. Um, he is looked down upon by most of the Lilygo race, yet they do not know he works for a villain. So he's actually just like them. Yet, in order to keep his, uh, his uh, cover, he must get 
be quiet. Keep his secret with uh, respect. Quiet. He's his. Um, so that's a bit of his backstory. So we got to come up with why either one of them would start working for the villain. Besides the fact that he'd probably threaten them if he, if if they didn't. Um, I worry about real names and they don't have any powers. I don't think Gray had physiology today. If they do, we're gonna have we're gonna have to check it. Um, Galactic Guard, not Galactic Guard. Um, these are dragons here, and then we go down to. Oh, I didn't even give them things yet, so they kind of only have flight. So they weren't granted flight. These were these people were granted flight because of the king, because he can he has power bestowal, so he can just give people powers if he wants to. Um. So for right now, let's just give them no none powers. Um, they're not lawful, so they're kind of they're not true neutral either. They're not neutral. They're not good at all. So they're not chaotic. So I I just say neutral evil. Probably the only option here. Um, like I said, we're not. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, we'll name, worry about their names later. Um, let's say, let's say, uh, old Gray here has a wife, and her wife is in the hosp uh, space hospital, and. She's trying to get enough money to pay off her bills. Um, and let's say the Lily Go guy here has a son, has a delinquent son. So neutral evil, the thing with neutral evil is they normally can spin at any point that's that was the description i read they can turn good at any point maybe for the benefit of themselves or maybe for the benefit of the greater good either or but they're not completely unchangeable unlike something like chaotic evil um, chaotic evil is i think just not the greatest um as a delinquent son uh now that he's trying to bail out of jail, I feel like he'd make enough to do that. Um, that's currently in jail. Maybe he has a divorced wife or he's trying to... Okay. Man, this alien, this alien stuff, it's kind of real. But like I said, I wanted them to have kind of human qualities. Uh, Link with that's currently in jail. Trying to... Okay, so they each have... You need something to do with money. Um, what are you trying to pay? Trying to pay wife for. Oh God, what's? I know there's a term for like divorce. Prenup. Is that it? I don't want to think too much about marriage, man. I'm not. I don't care about that stuff. Um. Maybe he doesn't even have a wife. What is he trying to pay? Maybe he has something like a gambling addiction or something. Uh, or maybe his son went to space college. Son got kicked out and he's still trying to pay back the student loans that Space College gave his son. So his son is a bit of a disappointment. And he's just trying to find a way out of it. OmniSpec came along. He's like, hey, I got you a way out. Um, a 
okay, the Knights of N.E., or more currently, the Knights who say N.E., or Nay, is it, is it Nay? Yo, my Dungeons and Dragons character is trying to pay off student debt, hold on, yeah, I think I'm going to go the student debt route, trying to pay off his disappointment, disappointment of a son's student debt off. You know how these the Galactic Guard wouldn't be paying them a whole bunch. So, give you a little bit of perspective. Arita here, she owns both, they're both kind of just companies, but self-proclaimed cops of the galaxy. Um, the Space Police, she owns them, the whole, all of it. And the Special Guard, the military, she owns that too. So she is a space billionaire. And in the beginning of, was it the eighth book? She was captured, and then these four here, Black Jack, a white wolf, Crimson Coyote, and Azure Fox, rescue her and bring her back to uh, HQ, uh, the, the cop HQ. And they're wondering why they wanted Arita in the first place, and the whole thing. That's the eighth book in the series, though. Go buy the first book in the series that's out now um 10 bucks for kindle but if you have kindle unlimited it's free go on and get yourself that it has pictures in it got pictures in it uh paperback is 20. i got a few friends and family members that already got their books i didn't get my author's copy yet so how are they getting their stuff before like my one of my friends his stuff got delayed of the whole virus thing like i ain't even get my author copy but i got family members that got my book i ain't got my book I wrote it, but it'd be nice to have to see what the physical thing looked like. Yeah, oh well, yeah, that's yeah. Um, this is something. It's something to do. Uh, can we look inside? It's something to do while you're in quarantine. I know a lot of people are okay. What is this? You want to work with me here? You don't want to work with me. Cover beginning. Cover. None of that. All right. Um, uh, yeah, we got the book, book's out, guys. Book's out. Make sure you give it a positive review, too, if, if, if you want. Um, go ahead and, and grab, grab yourselves a copy. Link is in down below on Twitch. It'll, I put in the description of the YouTube videos. I don't think I did yet. Oh, gosh, I gotta do that. Um, but yeah. Oh shoot, the stream, it's, it's time to go for this. Somebody joined last second. I'm looking at you, sixth person. You It's somebody always at 9, 901, 902 that joins last second. It's like, hey, what's this streamer doing? And it's time for me to go. It's, God, it never fails every time. Every time. Um, but we're going to go. Um, we don't really have much to add to their stories here. Like, I just wanted to. I just gave a little depth to these characters because we said all that and created them really just off the top of our domes to, uh, to, is it? Yeah. to give Clutter, like, give Omnispect more power over the whole, I guess, planet. Um, and, you know, the whole reason, I, I want, like I said, I want Omnispect to weave in and out the story so he's he's really everywhere so to speak but the, the heroes don't know much about him yet and we have yet to meet all the heroes in the story even in the planning but we're gonna you see them we we have them at some point i think we're going to introduce uh solace in chapter seven i want to say Oops. seven i want him to be a little bit early on in the thing I still see a throne. Jesus Christ. Introduction. I don't want him to be too late into the game and you're like, oh god, they added another character. Like, yeah, I want him to kind of be part of the squad. He originally, originally, he wasn't supposed to be part of the five. It was only supposed to be five. Um, but I, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. All right. That's good. We're good. That these are the cops here. Well, welcome to the squad, cop. Uh, 
got people. And we're we're gonna get on out of here. We're gonna get on out of here. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Look tomorrow. Sunday. I'm losing track of the days. Um, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day except Fridays. I took my day off yesterday already. Um, and that's that's gonna be it from from your boy, y'all. Uh, follow, I hope I hope if anybody that's new watching, get your head and give your boy a follow. We're almost to the ultimate goal of 50, 50 followers, which we will be officially affiliated by that point. Um, which would be nice because I've never been officially affiliated with any sort of social media thing. So that'll be cool when we get there. But, um, yep, that's going to be it from your boy for today, guys. Thank you to the homie Jay for stopping by. C4, the homie, as always, back, uh, and... Yeah, my mom just stopped by, and we're gonna get on out of here. Button was like, "Okay, the button is ready." He was like, "Yo, I gotta go to work too. Like, I got a midnight shift, and I gotta leave early because this whole C C four whole virus thing. Like, bro, I gotta go. So I gotta let the button get to work, and we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna leave. All right, Tibbs Phoenix signed off, y'all.